What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Today's video is a makeup tutorial featuring a very nice um, subscription box. I was kind of like intrigued and I was like, mm, let's see. <laughs> so this makeup, say it, don't spray it, girl. So this makeup tutorial, um, it is all in one palette, which is this one right here. And we're going to talk about it really, really quick because I want to jump into the tutorial and I want to show you guys. Um, definitely outside my comfort zone. We got orange. We got some nice um, greenish color going on. And it's a really fun uh, tutorial that I really wanted to share with you guys. I mean, the colors are in the palette and we have to use them. So let me talk to you guys about what this palette or this subscription box is all about this is called the deck of scarlet and it's pretty pretty amazing subscription box it is very different from what you're used to you're used to receiving a box full of four to five travel size products but here you get every two months you get this beautiful package which i'm like whoa about the package you get Every two, yeah, it's every two months you get a beautiful package and it comes like this is a box and it is so well presented. I have to tell you right off the bat, the presentation blew my mind. Um, I was contacted by Deck of Scarlet to um, do a collaborations with them and I first have to see what the product was about and they are... Uh, like I said, a, a, a subscription box every two months. And what they do is they partner up with amazing, talented YouTubers and they create a palette. This month was Yvonne. Um, I, I'm going to I'm gonna put her information down below just in case you don't follow her. She's an amazing, talented um, makeup you guru. She's an artist. I love her makeup and she's just flawless. She's just gorgeous. So pretty much you get every two months for $29.95. You signed up and every two months you're going to get a, a palette. But and in this palette, you're going to be able to recreate many looks. So let's dig into this palette, this collaboration that she, that they did with Eve. I think I'm saying it right. Yvonne? Hopefully I am. Again, I love how amazing the packaging is. Like for me, packaging, it's like really cool. So Kate get, sent me a little uh, note and everything is so well prepared. And then you get a little um, pretty much a note it says you're in so pretty much you have your weight is finally over prepared to get hooked so it's just a little note from deck of scarlet which i pretty in there i just love the um details of this like it's really really cool and then here it gives you pretty much who the artist is as you can see this is yvonne wahab wahab sorry hopefully i am saying it right she's a talented youtuber and instagrammer and um i think she is gorgeous and the colors she picked out and created are amazing so once you take all those things out you have a little foam to cover it and here it is here is her palette and then you get a lip liner and an eyeliner so you get everything in one box to create multiple looks pretty much this is the uh palette and you have two come two different um parts you have this little one right here and then you have the big one right here so let's open the big one and right off the bat you're gonna see three bold colors and we have we have a beautiful emerald color i would say we have that pop of orange my lights right now are washing it off but it's really really pretty i'm gonna put pictures on instagram and then you have that matte brown color we have fudge sunshine and mermaid and i just thought that these were perfect for spring and then we have a nice highlight color which is the one that i am wearing right now so the highlight is pretty good actually like i was in shock that a highlight would be this good in our palette you know don't get me wrong we go with the hype so and then we have a nice bronzer color the bronzer for me was a little for my skin type was a little too on the grayish had a lot had a little bit too much gray undertone for my skin um, color i tried it i had to blend it in as you guys will see in the tutorial and then if you open the second part here you have the lipsticks and you have like a nice orange bright orange that i need to get like into it i have to be in the mood i couldn't do it today because i had too much going on on my eyes so and then you have a beautiful nice almond color so this is what the palette looks like and you have a pretty decent size of a mirror and i thought that was pretty pretty cool and then over here you have two liners you get a lip liner and you get an eyeliner you can see them right there 
everything comes in this palette as you guys can see everything comes in this box you can create multiple looks for $29.95 so I'm gonna leave all their information of deck of Scarlet which I think it's a pretty amazing subscription box the colors and the pigmentation on it like you guys can see for yourself and I didn't have to be there like ah pigmentation I am um, giving it a hundred percent I love the palette guys there's nothing wrong about the palette honestly so guys without further ado let's go ahead and jump into my second tutorial for spring which is this beautiful pop of orange look right here and yeah let's go ahead and keep watching all right ladies so <clears throat> as usual we're starting on a clean face and we're gonna go ahead and moisturize as usual derma e hydrating moisturizer I apply that all over my face and then I apply a lot because I have very dry skin so I make sure that I apply a decent amount to my face. Then I go in with my brows and I will be using a Morphe palette just for the shadows because right now I ran out of my brow um, powders or pencils so I'm just using a regular brown eyeshadow. And what I like to do is I first like to define the brow on the bottom and then start giving like hair strokes hair like strokes to my brow and then I like to um, fill in the top to make that corner and then of course hair like strokes in the inside and then just pretty much brush it until I get them ready so then after my brows are done I'm moving on to this amazing palette and I love this palette actually the colors are super nice so as you can see here's the palette I am going in with the actually I'm gonna go ahead and go in with sandstorm which is that bronzer color I'm using that as my transition shade so I apply that on my crease and I blend, blend, blend upwards all over my crease and getting close to that brow bone right there. So in this tutorial, you guys, they're going to see me um, just pretty much work one eye because I want to concentrate just one eye at a time instead of doing both. So it's kind of different. So I just pretty much built and get that cover, the color that I want. It's very light, but I kind of kept on and built a much stronger color. So I'm grabbing the orange color, which is sunshine right up the middle. And this color, I'm just packing on a lot of color because I really want it to be very, very bright. Um, I didn't show, but I actually wet my brush on a setting spray. And I used a small shader brush. And I like to pack on the color uh, on my lid. And dance while I put makeup on. So I make sure that I cover everything on my lid from my inner corner to my outer corner of the lid just to make sure that everything's there. And as soon as I see that it's packed, I really like that orange color. I'm going in with that dark brown, which is the fudge color. And I am going to give you a little concert before I continue my makeup. So with a small blending brush, I apply that fudge color on that hollow part of my crease. My eyes are a little hooded, so like I have that hollow part right on top of the crease. So I just pretty much put a little bit of that color and I blend it outwards as you guys can see. You see how it goes from dark to a little lighter? That's all I do. Now I went hammer on the liner. I wanted to do a very defined um, liner. So I am using the Feline by um, L'Oreal, which is a very thin, fine, it's a very fine tip as you can see. And I just pretty much went home with that um, liner. I actually brought in, I brought it in very um, like outside, as you can see, on the inner corner. And then I wore lashes, and here, as you can see, I finished the eye. So it was pretty simple, as you guys saw. The same thing I did to the eye, I did to the second eye. And I'm going in with Forever Lid, and I'm applying that as my inner corner highlight. Kind of gave it like a little pop. So I was like, yeah, I'm loving it. So for primer, I am using this Matchbox Photo Finish Primer. This is one of my first time primers and I forgot how awesome it was. So I'm mixing Milani and a L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. But before, I'm going in with the NYX um, Corrector in green just to hide all those redness that I have on my face. And the lashes I didn't mention, but I'm using Jet Trendsetter by Pure Cosmetics. Again, everything I use on this tutorial will be linked on the description box. So I mix the foundations and I go ahead and apply dots to my face. And then with this e.l.f. blending brush, I start blending my foundation. 
with the consistency of Milani, I feel as a beauty blender it works a lot better. But I just went and just buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed with this brush. So for concealers, I'm mixing the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Radiant Creamy Concealer. Creamy Radiant. Whichever. So I'm applying this, this one first. And after that, I'm applying the um, Kat Von D Locket Concealer, which is a little bit brighter. So it kind of, lighter, I'm sorry, which is a little bit lighter as you can see. So it kind of helps to brighten these areas where um, we need a lot of brightness. So as usual, Beauty Blender. And I just pretty much blend everything away. Blend under my eyes, blend the, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, you know, just pretty much blend. Everybody knows this step. So now we're gonna set the powder. I'm sorry. Now we're gonna set the makeup, and I'm using the Kat Von D Locket setting powder. I am in love with this powder. Like it just, yeah, literally locks it in there. So just a little bit everywhere. I'm going in with the Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I'm using those two colors on the top. Usually, you guys already know if you watch my tutorials. I rave and I swear about these two colors to set the under eye. Super bright. It stays all day, and it does not dry out my eyes. So I'm going to use the Sandstorm, but then I kind of mixed it with the Pixie um, bronzer because it was a little too grayish for my skin. See, there we go. I mixed it with that um, Pixie bronzer because it was a little too gray. Like I was like, whoa, this is not my color. So let's please, let's change it. Thank you so much. So I'm just pretty much bronzing my face. I don't do like a harsh defined contour. And then I'm using a, I want to say like a peachy color. Yeah, it was a peachy. It was like a peachy color for blush. For blush. I just wanted to um, make like contrast with my eyes. And then I'm using that sandstorm. No, I'm sorry. Um, I totally forgot what's the name of that highlight. But I'm using the highlight from the palette. It's pretty good, I gotta say. So I'm just applying the highlight on the highest part of my cheeks. Um, the tip of my nose, the bridge, my cupid's bow, and with that. So I'm moving on to the bottom part of my eyes. I am using also their liner, and I am outlining my waterline. And um, I'm sorry I couldn't bring, bring you guys closer to this part. I totally like forgot I was recording. I don't know for some reason. So I'm just pretty much applying that to my waterline. And then what I do is, as you can, yeah, I remember that I was recording. So I'm going in with that mermaid color, which is kind of close to that liner color actually. And with a very thin brush, I am just putting that um, color right on the bottom part of my bottom lashes. So I'm having that pop of green on the bottom and then that BAM orange on my lid. So that is the complete look on the eyes. And for the lips, I'm using the also from their collection, the lip liner. And it was a little too dark for me, but then I made it work. Y'all see. So the awesome thing about using eyeliner, eyeliner, lip liner is that um, it defines your lips a lot better and they look a lot more like full. So like here I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics and Manny MUA in Aries, which it was a beautiful peachy color. But then I was like, wait, hold on. This is too much peach, too much orangey going on. So I went and go ahead and tone it down with the um, Wet n Wild Cat Suit liquid lipstick in Nudie Patootie. I love that name, Nudie Patootie. So I kind of toned it down and made it a nice nude, peachy nude color as you can see. I love it. And here you go, ladies. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. And as usual, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. as easy as possible um it looks 
too much but again as you guys saw it wasn't too much so anyways guys don't forget to check out deck of scarlet information down below their instagram and of course check out yvonne if you don't know who she is she's amazing thumbs up for her amazing work and as usual all my information for social media will be right on the description box follow me on snapchat instagram and facebook and um yeah that is all that i have to share with you guys as usual thank you so much for sticking till the end what best hope this be best precious pearls i will see you ladies on my next video bye